Topping our news overnight, at least 22 tornadoes across six states have left a path of destruction. Several deaths have been reported, but the largest report comes from Kentucky. The governor there says the death toll is believed to be at 70, but fears it could rise. It's our top story tonight at 6. A string of powerful storms and tornadoes leaving a path of destruction across parts of the Midwest and the South. Last night I thought it was as bad as it could possibly be, but you come back in the daylight and it's even worse than you thought the night before. Kentucky, one of the hardest hit states, the governor declaring a state of emergency. This has been the most devastating tornado event in our state's history. The level of devastation is unlike anything I have ever seen. Sadly, far too many homes that people were likely in, entirely devastated. The town of Mayfield nearly leveled. They were going to focus on those who have lost so much, and that's where our hearts are with them who have lost the people they love and the property and the way they make a living. The courthouse clock tower collapsed, businesses left in ruins. Now we clean and we get a game plan on how to open back up and start serving our community. Further east, dozens of homes in Bowling Green damaged or destroyed. And in Erlington, Kentucky, a tornado caused this freight train derailment. There were no reports of injuries or fatalities. In Edwardsville, Illinois, officials confirm at least two fatalities and multiple injuries after storms caused this roof to collapse at an Amazon distribution center. This nursing home in Arkansas also hit by a tornado. First responders rescuing at least 20 people trapped inside. At least one person was killed, five others injured. The president speaking to the nation this afternoon. It's a tragedy, and we still don't know how many lives are lost or the full extent of the damage. But I want to emphasize what I told all the governors. The federal government will do everything, everything it can possibly do to help. Rena Roy, ABC News, Mayfield, Kentucky.